Hello friends, welcome back to Kurukaruyaru, India's first online school of computer science. We are meeting here again for our next tutorial and let's see what we are going to make today. So today we are going to make a game that is a dodgeball game. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. So first of all, we have to go to the Google and open Scratch. Search for Scratch. Click on the very first link, Scratch Imaging Program Share. Click on the create option for a new project. Okay, so here is our scratch platform. So let's start making our new project. We need a cat. So you can just uh, put the cat and no need to delete it. Go to choose a sprite and get a ball. B A W -L, L ball. This one. Okay. So the ball is here. Then you have to go to choose a backdrop and you have to choose blue sky backdrop and you have to create a line okay so go to the paint choose a sprite and paint okay and uh, make a very small line like this and you have to attach this line Here at the bottom, you have to attach it like this. Now we are going to start our coding part. Okay, so dodgeball game basically means that there will be balls falling from the top and the cat has to save itself and it should not touch the ball. The cat will move left and right to save itself from the ball. If it touches the ball, then the game is over. So first we need to make the ball fall from the top. So we need to do the coding for the ball. Go to the ball sprite. Put when green flag is clicked forever block. Then you have to change the Y position of this ball. So you have to put change Y by minus 10. Then we will check the condition. So put if then block. If touching screen bottom. This line. Okay. You can name it as screen bottom. So if it touches the screen bottom, right, um, spelling is wrong, you can correct it if you also have written the wrong spelling, but yeah, now it's correct. So screen bottom, okay, so touching screen bottom here, you need to choose screen bottom, okay, so if it touches the screen bottom, then again, you need to put go to x, y, this one, and here you need to put pick random. Okay, in the X position, it can fall from anywhere. So, minus 2, 4, 0, 2, 2, 40. It will fall from anywhere. And this should be 180. Okay, so this is the very first code. Uh, that is the first uh, if then. Okay, condition. Now, we'll put another if then. Then, what if it touches the cat? So you have to put if touching cat, that is sprite one, okay, cat is sprite one, then you have to display game over, okay? So you have to go to the events and you have to broadcast message and just write the game over. Like this. Now we will duplicate this ball, okay? Just click on duplicate because we need at least three balls, okay? So three balls you need to duplicate. Now for the cat, we just need to make it move left and right, okay? When the arrow is clicked, left arrow key and right arrow key, it should move left and right. So we will put forever, if then, key pressed from sensing. So which arrow? Right arrow key is pressed, then you have to move 10 steps. But if the left arrow key is pressed, you just duplicate this block and put it down. Yeah, it's fine. Left arrow key is pressed, you have to put minus 10 steps. And you have to make the cat move left and right, okay? And we will make a game over sprite. So we'll click on paint. 
and we will just write here game over. So for game over, we can do is um we can put when green flag is clicked, it should hide, okay. But when I receive game over, it should show. When I receive game over, it has to be seen. Show. Okay, so let's check our game. Oh, okay. Also, we can stop the game once the game over is done. So, we will stop all from the control. Show after show, you just put stop all. So, the game will stop. Now, make sure you have to move the cat to save from the ball. Oh, it touched the cat. We can reduce the ball to make it more easier. Okay, one ball we can reduce. Oops. Oh, uh, it touched the ball. Okay, so like this, you need to play the game. You have to save the cat from touching the ball by moving it left and right. Okay, so you have to put the cat position in the starting of the game to where it is right now. We can just make it, uh, you know, Go to X, Y. So like this, the game will work as you can see. Okay, so it's going to be a fun game. Try making this out. And thank you for watching this video. We'll meet again in our next tutorial. Till then, bye everyone.